Hmm. All right, well, uh, let me see what you got for wares. So... We completed that contract, we got uh, the Mandrake route, and we got uh, some money. So we got 722 right now. She will buy the uh, the Bargas Skulls for five apiece, which is okay. Um, I believe there are some others uh, in this game that buy the, the Bargas Skulls for more than that, so I'll, I'll hold on to them for now. Mandrake Root gives us uh, Keybrith, which is nice. We've got a couple of those. I'll go ahead and organize that and actually put those together. So we might be able... Uh, no, we, we can't. I need uh, I need some, some Rebus still. Um, we can get a Red Ribbon from her, which is a Drowner Repellent. Um, I don't want that, though. Got Field Plants here, which is 200 from her. I think that's the same as the, the other place, unfortunately. Book of Animals for 100. Got Spectre Oil, which is probably the uh, the thing that she's talking about giving us a recipe for. I don't know that I really care about that currently. She does have a book on uh, bar guests for 50. Don't really care too much about that. Sulfur. Give us more Keybreath. Vermilion, I don't need. Vitriol, Vitriol, Aether. Got a powder for bombs. We can't really make bombs yet. <sighs> Grease. Rebus. So she's got some lunar shards, but that's 40. I don't know that I want to spend 40 just to get that. She's got powdered pearls as well. Uh, we can get winestone for 30. Vitriol. Plum cordial. This is mainly alcohol. Suet. Goose fat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm pretty sure if we uh, if we manage to find some uh, some more books around here, we're going to be able to uh, to pluck some flowers. I could get the field plants. That might be what we need. But I'm gonna keep looking around before I start uh, buying up books rather than just wasting money. And we'll, we'll figure it out from there. I don't need it that much. I'm guessing that doll was to make the guy sick who, uh, who was being a jerk out here. Who knows? In any case... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's, there's plenty of plants around here that we could be plucking and, uh... Getting some, some lovely things. What's up, Traveler? Cursed plague stopped our transport outside Vizima. Yeah. All right. So up here we've got a shrine. We've also got the crypt. We've got uh, Heron Brog's house over here. We've got Mickle out here, and there's the cave beneath the city wall, as well as Odo's house down here, which we haven't uh, gone in and investigated quite yet. I'm gonna head up to the shrine and just see uh, what's going on up there. See if we can't find anything interesting. Another fireplace out here. I'm sure, we'll eventually uh, uh, come across night and uh, start dealing with some more of these bar guests. I definitely do want to uh, to get a a number of the bar guests because that will uh, that will give us some uh, some items that could be useful later on. I don't know that I really care about. Uh, grabbing the place of power right now. So we've got the crypt entrance over here. This is not quite where I want it to go. I guess this is just, ah, this is just one of the shrines that's showing up. So we can go around and uh, check out Mikkel up here. I guess that's, uh, that's worth doing. We're not gonna go to the crypt. We don't have the ability to really do anything with the ghouls. Not to mention, I don't even have cat right now. Could really use some cat. It's probably going to be pretty dark down in that uh, that crypt. That's not going to be a pleasant uh, pleasant journey without being able to see much. Ah oh, well, we'll deal with it as we uh, as we get to it. Looks like there's something locked over here. We might have uh, a few more huts. 
actually, it looks like we have quite a number of, uh, of huts over here. Let's see here. How many huts is this? Uh, da, 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 da. I think we are, yeah, we're, we're like way towards the top of the map, so we're kind of getting buried by the outskirts of Vizima on the top here. But it looks like there's only two, so we'll, uh, we'll check out these two real quick. See if we can't find something. Got a barrel and a wardrobe and a guy who, uh, died drinking. That's a good way to go, I guess. Could be worse. Let's see here. Ah, we have Lunar Shards, so we can get Rebus from that. Got a Quicksilver Solution, and we've got, uh, Ducal Water here, which will give us, uh, Keybrith. So we do have the ability to to make it now, I believe. Which means we can uh, we can at least use the Frightener's Eye. That's nice. Not the uh, not the most important thing on my list of things to do right now, but it is something worthwhile. Got a trunk down here. What do you got? Ah, another amber ring here. More money, if you ask me. Is that it? Just just the ring? Okay, well, it's not bad. Like, I, I don't mind having more money, but uh, honestly, I would rather have the books if I could manage it. It would just be better for me. Looks like this is probably a way on down to the, uh, the river bed here. Go talk to uh, Mikkel up here. Mikkel? Michael. What's up, Mikey? Do you like it? What's up, city guard? Gates close until further notice. Quarantine in effect. Sure. Gates close until further All right, notice. Same thing. Halt. What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a. What do they call that? A, a, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Of course he does. Of course. I don't believe you. He give you anything? He sure did. There you go. Here's my finger. Sniff it. The Reverend said, worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. All right, so uh, the Reverend said that you might use my help. The Reverend said you could use my help. Uh, I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. Yeah, well, I am a, rich, uh, a witcher, so I suppose I'll rid you of these fiends, but uh, I'm going to need you to pay me some cash, about 200 bucks. And, uh, you know, you have to also tell me, uh, uh, tell the Reverend specifically that I helped you. I'm a witcher, so I'll rid you of the fiends, but in exchange, you'll pay me 200 orins and tell the Reverend I helped you. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll tell him what I know, which will be little, and I don't have much gold, neither. But no matter, just so long as the deadens are slayed, eh? See you later. Hey, as long as you have 200, I'm I'm all for it. Okay, well, killing the uh, killing the ghouls is great and all, but I still need the ability to actually get things from the ghouls. I'm not just going to go in there and kill them for no reason. I mean, sure, I'm killing them so that I'm clearing it for you, but I need some more in it for me. See if we can't find anything down here. I mean, we probably could if we had the ability to to pluck flowers at this point in time. Unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> it's okay. If I don't find uh, if I don't find anything uh, in order to. Uh, to actually give us the ability soon here that I'm going to start buying books. We'll, we'll go after the ones that I believe are more important than the others. 
We got a couple of doors here. Let's see. Looks like we've got about four houses to look at, including uh, Heron's place. Alright, we got a, a thug, a chicken, and a brawler. I'll eat the chicken, and then I'll kick the brawler, and then I'll throw the, the, uh, the thug out, right? Sounds good. Or maybe I'll eat the thug, I'll kick the chicken, and uh, I'll throw the brawler out. Who does he think he is? A witcher. What's up, thug? I wouldn't arm a dog, but I'd crucify any elf. Wow. Boring. Really? Oh, to drink in the hairy bear. But the city gates are closed. Yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? I want to pass. Alright, what do we got up here? We got a wardrobe, a cupboard, a trunk, cabinet, and a thug. The thug is definitely where I'll get the most things out of this room. Well, so far, nothing all that great. I don't want the Temerian Steel Dagger because I know that that is only going to get me 10. I'm pretty sure torches will get me more. Well, this was pretty useless. You got anything to say, thug? It's a buy. Go see Brog. All right. Well, I'm out of here. I definitely don't want that dagger. I won't be back for that dagger. That dagger can go suck one. <laughs> no, thank you. Don't need it. What is going on over here? Bloody dwarf. You, uh, you guys, you guys getting upset at the dwarf over here? Off with What's your business with this dwarf? We're shaving off his beard. What's it to you? You know, I think you better be uh, moving along now. I have a problem with you shaving beards, especially one so epic as that one. You'd be better off moving along. Love non-humans, do you? Sheathe your weapon. And stop waving those arms around if you want to keep them. Ooh, a live one! Get him, lads! Kill the deviant! You asked for it. All right, then. Here we go. You'll park a carriage in your ass when I'm done. Thanks for getting those hounds off my back. Wait. Geralt! Is it you? Well, I'll be damned. Something wrong? You don't look well. Are you hurt? True to a witcher. Died, came back to life. Nobody's seen him for five years, and he wants to know if something's wrong. Who are you? You drunk. I'm your pal, Zoltan Chiri. Where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? What about... Not sure I can explain much. Ah, you don't need to tell Zoltan Chevy anything. Let's just say I'm glad to see you, though it would be nice to resolve some matters. You misunderstood. I lost my memory. I only remember the last few weeks. Hmm. Know what, Geralt? Let's have a beer and talk like we used to. Clear your mind and maybe some things will come back to you. You do look like something's bothering you, though. By the way, Zoltan here uh, does appear in the books, and uh, he, honestly, I feel like he, much like Shawnee, uh, makes a, a much more minor appearance than he does in this game. Um, but he, he does make a, a more uh, prominent appearance compared to uh, Shawnee's appearance. Anyway, let's find out what uh, what's bothering Zoltan. You look like something's bothering you. Yes, a nasty matter. My friend was to meet me in this village some time ago, but he never appeared. Think he might be in trouble? I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he were. He joined the squirrels recently and agreed to trade with the hawkers. Squirrels and hawkers? The squirrels, or Scoyatal as they call themselves, are non-humans who hope to gain equality by shooting folk from behind trees. 
And hawkers are merchants who sell arms to the Scoia'tael. Illegally. I see. Geralt, I'm not exactly welcome here. We non-humans get blamed for everything from the plague, through the beast to the warts on the Reverend's arse. I'd look for my friend myself otherwise. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I learn anything. Thank you, my friend. So how are you doing? So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. The Breckenrigs? Who are they? The Breckenrigs. Who are they? My future in-laws. I'm to wed Eudora Breckenrig soon, but my father-in-law-to-be puts too much stock in material things. The common cause mine, where I worked after the war, was a complete failure. I blame it on the bloody times. So, how are you doing besides that? So... You know me. So, tell me about Mahakam. Any profit in that? From Mahakam? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. Geralt! Could you tell me more about the Scoia'tael, or the squirrels? Can you tell me more about the squirrels? They're non-human little shits who are fed romantic tales. They've taken up arms to fight for freedom and other ideals. During the war with Nilfgaard, Emir used them to wreak havoc in the kingdoms. I don't know who supports them now. Well, I need to get going, Zoltan. We'll uh, talk later. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. I'd talk to you about uh, getting bigger, but I'm already pretty big as it is, so I don't need that. So we just completed the quest uh, for racists, apparently. We gained a level, and hey, a dice box. It's a starter set. This, uh, this will be a handy item so that we can go do some gambling. Oh, look, more dice boxes. I, I don't know that we can take... Uh, oh, yeah, we can. We can we can take multiple, multiple dice boxes. Why not? They're quest items. They don't actually uh, do anything in our inventory, so it's all good. Got some rusty swords here. I think that uh, that will go on my, my leg here. I should be able to sell that. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be uh, uh, too expensive. I mean, it is rusty, so probably be pretty meh. We did chop this guy's head off, though. Nice. Any more you want to fight? Huh? Huh? Don't you come after me. I'll kick your butt. Ah, an old chest over here. Got a whetstone. Not bad. We used uh, we used our other stone earlier, which may may very well be going to waste. Boring. Yeah, you're boring. Oh, to drink in the hairy bear, but the city gates are closed. Cursed non-humans. Surprised the earth doesn't swallow them. Hmm. Well, that's okay. I can uh, help the earth to swallow you if you want. Let's see what's down in the cellar here. Whole bunch of barrels. Got some chicken sandwich. I love that the chicken sandwich is really just a, a chicken leg that's sitting on a piece of bread. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, a good amount of orange down here, but nothing, uh, nothing too special. Wish there was a book. All right, let's see here. So, it uh, looks like we've gotten just the, the first two houses here. Looks like there's actually more than just two houses, though. This one's locked, unfortunately. Got some barrels over here, though. 